bowl patch appearing. Mm, okay. It's a somber time. Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining us on this fine Thursday evening. evening. Yes, normally we would have a live game of 40k for you wonderful people tonight. But everyone's off away, not available, unavailable. It's just me. It's just me. Today is a somber day. Today is one of those rare occasions. <laughs> it's not that rare. That's the problem. It's not that rare. Today is one of those occasions where GW goes ahead and proves how incredibly fucking tone deaf they are. Unfortunately, it happens. Uh, as you probably are well aware, if you are a regular viewer of the channel, and if you are a regular viewer of the channel, thank you so much if you've already done these things. If you haven't, please make sure you hit all of the magical YouTube buttons for us. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that bell notification icon. Thank you very much. However, up until this point, all of us have been incredibly excited for Age of Sigma um, Season 4. Now, I will go as far as to say that uh, Lucy's here. Lucy's right there. Don't worry, Keith. Don't worry. I will go as far as to say that we are still all excited about the addition in the game itself. But decisions have been made today, some of which make sense, and some of which... It's a bold move. If you take five minutes in the social media posts around today's news for new AOS, uh, you will both see how angry the fan base is for Age of Sigmar, and how literally tone deaf their community engagement team actually is. Because when people are out there complaining that the, now the announcement from today means that 90 plus percent of their model range for a faction they play in Age of Sigmar, which is, let's face it, less than a decade old and therefore still quite new, 90 percent of their model range is now unusable as per today's announcement. When the Warhammer community team posts underneath and goes, don't worry, there'll be more stuff you can buy. It's a pretty tone deaf response, isn't it? It's a pretty tone deaf response, that on the whole. Don't worry that with Legends do stuff, you can buy new shit. It's not the greatest. What am I talking about? There's an Age of Sigma article that came out today talking about them thinning some of the ranges. Now, Josh and I, when he was here last week, had spoken about this very topic. And we said the problem with Stormcast, specifically in the Age of Sigma realm, is they have far too many War Scrolls. War Scrolls are the Age of Sigma equivalent to data sheets in Warhammer 40k. And we said they have too many of them. And I think most people would probably agree that they had too many of them. And it's like, how do they solve that problem? What they did is they took a fucking sledgehammer to it. An absolute sledgehammer to it. Mordy Hammer, thanks for kicking us off with five of the finest gifted memberships. You absolute legend of a man. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Where's my mouse cursor gone? What a hero. Thank you so much for that. So, what am I talking about? Well, this. Uh, Lucy's in the Lucy's in the by the way people don't panic she's fine she's alive she's okay <laughs> right here. don't feel bad about the bald spot my hairline started receding at 19 <laughs> thanks so much for the five it's not I don't think, the thing is I, my appearance is terrible today because after the stream I'm going to go and cut my hair and trim and groom and shower so I haven't put any product in or made myself look beautiful because I've had a, a home day yeah. so I look like shit but tough, accept it, right? Anywho, dated today, 4th of April 2024. This is an interesting read, right? And I don't feel this has done any, this hasn't done them any favors. The only thing I will say is the only credit I will give Gabe's Workshop for this article, and I will give off a credit, uh, credit for this, um, this article, is at least they have made people aware before the edition launches, right? Not like intent. At least they've made people aware before the edition launches, which is incredibly positive. What's not positive is how much has been binned and how new some of that stuff is, okay? Tony Winnick, thank you for the gifted. You're a legend. You're average paramedic. Thank you for five more gifted. 11 angry people. They're called angry boys tonight. Angry boys. People are angry, right? What's leaving the Warhammer Age of Sigma range? With the latest edition of Warhammer Age of Sigma on the horizon, and the news that every single war scroll in the game has been assessed and balanced, it is a sad but necessary truth that certain miniatures are leaving the range. I got worried immediately when I scrolled to this point here, and I'll explain why. The reason why I got worried is because what I was about to start doing today was build two boxes of these, right? You'll recognize these, because it's exactly on the picture that I just showed you on the website. Two boxes of 
Evocators on Celestial Dracolines, okay? I These are some of my favorite models that are in the uh, Stormcast range. And because I had two boxes of these, one of the reasons why I decided to focus on Stormcast right now, okay? I saw this image and I was like, but these are nice, newish, pretty sculpts. Surely not these. Surely not these, chat. Well, let's see, okay? Every Citadel miniature is a unique piece in the ever-evolving narrative of Warhammer. Unfortunately, we can't continue to sell and support every model we've ever made, indefinitely. As we make new models and new books to explore their background and rules, we have to stop producing and featuring some older models. But just like many of you, we still treasure our collections of older miniatures, and we still want to be able to use them in games and forge glorious tales of heroism and adventure on the tabletop. Right? Look at this. Evocators, uh, Beasts range, Orcs range, okay? Two factions, Beasts of Chaos and Bone Splitters, as well as a number of older Stormcaster tunnels from the Sacrosanct and Warrior Chambers will be receiving free to download digital battle tomes. These will feature new background and rules and will be considered legal for use. Right, here's an important part, chat. This is a very important part, right? Will be considered legal for use in competitive play until summer 2025, okay? At this point, they will move over to Warhammer Legends and will no longer be supported for competitive play. This is a nice touch. I'm not forgiving what they're doing, but this is actually a really nice touch. So, because we know that Sigmar's uh, edition four, fourth edition is coming out in the summer 2024, they're giving you a year to use them. Okay, that's uh, it's better than nothing. It's better than just going flat new edition. You can't use them. It's not. It's still not good. I'm not saying it's good. It's better though. All right, right. Okay. We encourage you to continue using your collection for casual play, and we will continue to support this content with rules and balance updates as needed throughout the edition. Additionally, a number of older Warcry and Warhammer Underworlds warbands for the Slaves of Darkness will go off sale and enter Legends. Many more Underworlds warbands will remain on sale and will be supported only by Digital Legends War Scrolls in the next edition. Separating out the game, separating, separating out Underworlds and um, uh, and the other one, what's it called? Warcry away from um, Age of Sigma, it seems. A handful of units, mostly those using older resin miniatures, will also be retired from the range and will move over to Warhammer Legends. Starts off Stormcast Eternals. I'm not going to scroll, right? There's a lot here, right? A lot here. We begin with Sigmar's finest, the Stormcast Eternals, who have one of the largest miniature ranges in Warhammer history. With so many war scrolls, often for troops who have similar fighting styles, certain units are returning to the distant halls of Zir. These include the entire Sacrosanct Chamber, who have dedicated to work, uh, who have decided to work on the cure for the curse of the reforging from their workshops. In the realm of heaven. I'm definitely picking up my evocators from my local store and grabbing some secretors to run as liberators. I'm going to find a way to use them because they're pretty models. And I'm, and I, and here, I'll get on to this one in just a minute, but thank you so much. Uh, how will I say this anyway? Sun Chips Lover. Sun Chips Lover. Thank you very much for the five bucks. You're a legend. All right. Uh, so the entire sacrosanct chamber, which for me is literally the prettiest set of Stormcast models that they do. Already a little bit annoyed, right? They are being joined by numerous heroes as well as some of the most venerable fighters amongst the Storm hosts, the older Liberators plus Judicators, Paladins and Prosecutors. Certain named characters have been fighting the war against Chaos since the dawn of Age of Sigma and have also drawn back from the front lines. Bullshit narrative around the, this is why we're bringing some of this stuff away, right? Honestly, there's a lot. Evo so we've got the Celest the, Cel the Celestar Ballister, the, Evo the Evocators on Dracolines, the Evocators themselves, the Sequiturs, the uh, Knight Heraldor, Knight Vexilla, Lord Castellant, the Lord Castellant, oh, sorry, the Lord Celestant, Lord Vert Veritant, Lord Ordinator, Lord Exorcist, the Knight Azurus, the Paladins, the Judicators, the Liberators, the Prosecutors, fuck me, Garviel, Sureheart, Voris Starstrike, Castigators with Griffhound, uh, which is a fucking cool model. Astria Soul Blight literally just picked that model up three days ago because I wanted it to lead the Evocators. Uh, Aventus Firestrike, Master of the Sacrosanct, and Errant Quester. If you look at models like the Master of the Sacrosanct, if you look at Aventus Firestrike, like, I think no one would question. So, for example, if we go through these, like, four lords here, I think most people probably wouldn't question this on the whole. Removing Liberators, well, that makes sense because we've got in the new Liberators. That's fine, I get that. Removing Judicators, maybe even Paladins and Prosecutors kind of makes sense. They're quite old kits on the whole. But the Dracolines, the Evocators, the Sequitors, what are they thinking? What are they thinking retiring this much stuff? I don't... 
I don't understand. I don't understand why all the Rackline stuff's gone. I got into SC with second edition. Most of my army just disappears. Only six years into playing it. Nostro Dromaderi. This is my point as well. We're talking about a game that is less than a decade old because it's the ninth year that they're releasing the third edition because it comes out every three years. We've still got sculpts that are almost as old as me in the Eldar range for 40k. They still sell fucking warp spiders. I, removing some is fine removing this much especially some of especially people that have built full armies and it, am i right in thinking as well that the magazine subscription that was recently done for age of sigma kits include a lot of stuff that's in this list here pay this super expensive subscription get all these moderate models you can't use them anymore Soon after the release of the new edition, a battle tome containing most of these war scrolls will be made available to download for free on Warhammer Community, representing those warriors who are simply too devoted to their cause to return to Azure. So they are giving us rules for them, at least, right? So I'm going to continue to build my Evocators on Dracolines because I think they're fucking cool, okay? I think they're cool. So I'm going to continue to buy my Evocators on Dracolines. Now, some of the comments that have been replied to um, on the Facebook post specifically have stated from Games Workshop, from Warhammer themselves, that some of these, some of these at least, are fall into the same category as Liberators. What I mean by that is they are retiring these models, but they are being replaced by new models. So when the new, and they say this categorically on the Facebook page, so when the new models come out, you can use your old ones, but use the new War Scroll. What they don't do a good job of is telling us how many of these are actually just getting new sculpts and our old models will be usable. That's a comms issue. It's a communication issue. So they've told us about liberators. We know about liberators. We don't know currently, for example, if evocators themselves are going to, in fact, get a new model range. I doubt it because they're already quite pretty. But if they're going to get a new model range, which therefore means we can still use the old ones if you have the old ones. Right? Interesting. Uh, the one positive... It sure was nice of them to retire Stormcaster Old World. <laughs> the one thing that I am kind of a fan of, though, is I, I was concerned. I recently picked up this book, right? I recently picked up the Stormcast Eternals book um, from the studio. There is a substantial number of War Skulls compared to every other book. And I was a little bit concerned that Stormcast may end up going the way of the Space Marine, and there might be too many millions of data sheets in the future. And I didn't want that. And I'm kind of hoping that what they do is they're learning lessons. Granted, it's been 10 years. But they're learning lessons. And we're never going to get to a point with any codex or war scroll or um, battle tome in the future where you have 100 data sheets. I'm hoping. Oh, that's all the models I got with the Mortal Realms magazine. Oh, well. I'll use my slaves to darkness. <laughs> Wait for it. Sean, you evil man. We're getting there. Thank you for the five, man. You're a legend. Thank you. Uh, Sun Chips Lover for the other five bucks as well, you're a hero. Um, thank you to everyone who's super chatting. Thank you, Alex Randall, for the gifted membership, putting us on 12 of the finest gifted members, or tonight, otherwise known as Angry Boys. How many Angry Boys are there tonight? How many Angry Boys? I reckon there's lots of Angry Boys. Okay. Okay, right. Skaven. Now, this isn't a surprise. So I've seen a lot of people with Skaven, who play Skaven getting upset. This isn't a surprise. They are almost definitely going to get a monumental model and range refresh. That sounds like all the Stormcast models they aren't selling because they sold them cheap in the Hatchet Mags. Thoughtful face. That's interesting. It's, I mean, let's be honest, right, chat? I get demonetized every stream anyway, so I might as well say it. It's a cutter's trick. Scryer Acolytes are £13 per blister of one. Their rules run them as groups of five. About damn time to close that fight up. Scryer Acolytes. I guess they're not on here, are they? I'm about to get to them. Thank you, Kaz, for the five as well. You're a hero. The instigators of the Vermin Doom are also losing a number of old miniatures, many of which will be replaced with fantastic new ones in due course. But with this rataclysm still unfolding, none but the Grey Seers can predict where these replacements will fall. It's safe to say that the Skaven still have plenty of tricks left up their ragged sleeves. They're losing also a lot, okay? Clan Rats, the Acolytes we've just spoken about, the Warp Fire Throwers, the Rattling Guns, the Gut Runners, the Rat Swarms, the Master Molder, the Arch Warlock... The Warp Grinder, the Warlock Engineers, the Rat Ogres, the Storm Vermin, the Plague Priest, the Warp Lock Giselles, the Doom Flayer, and the Plague Sensor Bearers. I'm not, I'm not surprised by any of these at all. 
all quite old minis in the hole. Um, most of these will get replaced with nice new kits, and and you um, you uh, Skaven people will be probably uh, quite happy about the new kits that come out, and the old ones will still be usable because I'll have War Scrolls. Not a massive surprise. Any that doesn't receive an updated War Scroll when Battle Time Skaven drops will receive a Legends War Scroll. Uh, bone splitters from the armored bulk of the iron jaws to the lanky cunning of the cruel boys the auric war clans are diverse as they are vicious however the bone splitters subfaction is also leaving the range they will receive battle tone bone splitters as a free download i this doesn't surprise me these are really old i was looking through the auric war clans uh, part of the website the other day and they just don't fit anymore you know they don't fit anymore so this kind of makes sense to me i I don't think anyone's too upset about these. I think the Stormcast is the one that probably upset people the most, if we're honest, right? Slaves of Darkness. With the arrival of the Dark Oath, the Slaves of Darkness have finally found their definitive, their definitive mortal followers. This means that the number of warbands representing the wider worshippers of Chaos in the Mortal Realms will be retiring from the spotlight. And the range, this mostly involves warbands from the previous edition of Warcry, as well as Karga's Ravagers from Warhammer Underworlds, but they'll all get Legends War Scrolls. Uh, I, don't, I don't know... These just look like war bands to me, mostly. But it says, uh, what was it? this means that a number of war bands representing the wider web of chaos in the mortal realms will be retiring from the spotlight and the range. So you just can't use these in Slaves to Darkness. Uh, I think that's okay. Is that okay? Or is that not okay? I don't know. Note that the Chaos Legionnaires and the Dark Horse Savages both remain. They are still very much in Archaeon's plans. Beasts of Chaos. The Beasts of Chaos are leaving Warhammer Age of Sigmar, but they'll be back in the future, or rather the past. Yes, the Beastmen are returning to their old feeding grounds in the world of Legend uh, and Warhammer the Old World, right? So if you play Beastmen, if your army faction if in Age of Sigmar has been Beastmen, guess what? You're fucked. You, don't, you, get, don't, you get to use your Legends rules, but you don't get to play in Age of Sigma anymore. We're going to tell you that you can only play in Old World. Not the... Um, I don't think it's the smartest move I've ever made, if I'm going to be honest with you. Yep, you're done. You're playing Old World now, Beast of Chaos players. Beast of Chaos, you get to play Old World, nothing else. There you go, off you go. Not every beast is exiting the mortal realm. Zangors and Slangors will remain amongst the followers of their patron deities, but the wild great phrase... Do Super Chats support you more than memberships? Or is it better to do a regular membership? Entirely up to you, Sunship Lover. I don't mind. I don't mind. Recurring memberships is always amazing. Because lots of people forget they've got recurring memberships. Which, anyway. If you tolerate this, then your chaplain will be next. I'm not saying I'm tolerating these leaks. I think people have a right to be pissed off here. Right? Uh, so, um, so yeah. So, so Beast is just going full stop. I mean, despite the fact they have, literally have a, rage, a Warhammer Age of Sigma Vanguard detachment, they literally have an endless spell. Gone. Fuck off. Go play Old World. We don't want you anymore. Um, <laughs> unbelievable. Others. There are a handful of them just going off sale and receiving Legends War Scrolls. And it gives you a few here. Um, Saurus, uh, Eternity Warden, Sylvaneth Branch, Wraith, Val Valkyrie the Bloody, Skya. Uh, yeah, these people. All these ones, right? And, they, and it, just, it just ends. It's done. That's it. How are we feeling, chat? How are we feeling? <laughs> I... Predominantly for, genuinely, predominantly for, for Stormcast players, for Stormcast collectors, I would feel pretty pissed off. And I would actively encourage some angry feedback um, to GW via email. We don't need to be rude about it. We don't need to be rude about it, but I would actively encourage some a bit of angry feedback. The thing is, the thing that gets me is the range isn't that old. A ton of it has been recently available in... Um, hatchet paperwork and a lot of the like collection needs to build stuff and they've just nuked it it's sad so i think that i have every single one of the warbands in my std you have an std sick monkey i get that checked 
Uh, I think that people have a right to be pissed off at this. Um, I don't. I don't think that the messaging has been particularly great, and I also don't feel like the responses on social media have been particularly good. I think the responses on social media. There's, there are times. There are occasions in general throughout this career that I've had where I look at GW and I look at the way they respond to people and I'm like, stop, you're making it worse. Stop. And when they go on to social media and when people are getting pretty angry and asking for answers, they flat ignore that comment. But when someone says, what about my Stormcast, blah, 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 they come in with a tone deaf. Guess what? You can buy more models. I feel like GW's mermaid. <laughs> um, and they're like, guess what? You can buy more models. Just buy more models. That is not, it's bad that. It's not good. It's pretty fucking tone deaf on the whole. And I don't think they've done a good job there. I'm going to say a few things, though, which I think is going to get me some hate. And I'm aware it's probably going to get me some hate. Uh, but I'm going to try and be a voice of reason. I've seen other clickbait titles out there from people about how they've already killed 4th edition Age of Sigmar. Look, we went through this with 40k and 10th edition, specifically around a lot of the horror heresy stuff. Guess what? It didn't kill 10th edition 40k. It pissed a lot of people off and it upset a lot of people. But 40k's player base is still as big as, if not bigger, than it's ever been before. There's more people playing than it ever has before. I'm going to put my hands in the fire here and suggest that this is potentially a needed decision for a number of reasons. First of all, archaic models clogging up a range. We, we don't need them. We should probably get rid of them, right? We don't need them anymore. We should probably get rid of archaic models. It's something they should probably be doing in 40k, actually. They shouldn't be selling fine cast models that are fine cast resculpts of metal models that are from 1997. It's probably something they shouldn't be doing, okay? So that's one reason why it's probably needed. Secondly, do, do, do Stormcast need a book this thick when you compare it to Night Haunt's book that's that thick? Look at it. It's twice the size. That's War Scrolls, right? That's War Scrolls. It's because Stormcast has too much. They probably needed to thin the range down. It was almost definitely going to happen. In 40k, they just flat went, all legends, see you later. Done. Right? Done. No no, no option. In uh, AOS, they're saying, especially for that particular band of, of Stormcast, they're really saying, we're going to give you comp competition-based rules until summer 2025. Not like 40k, you can't use that shit anymore. Tough. This is like, no, we're going to give you rules that means you can use them in competitive, in competitive games of Age of Sigma for a whole year after the new edition's out. And... Considering we don't yet know when the new edition of this is launching, I'm going to make an assumption, okay? Here's a best guess. At the start, it says to you in the text of that particular article, and we highlighted it right at the start, right? It says, uh, these will feature new background and rules and will be considered legal for use in competitive play until summer 2025, okay? We know that summer, therefore, is the release of fourth edition. So we're probably looking at June, July time right? It's, that's probably a guess. I'm assuming they're going to give you 12 months of of these these units are usable in competitive play. They're going to give you 12 months, right? Again, you didn't get that in 40k. Not only that, if we do assume, therefore, that the edition is coming in June, July, May, April time, they've given us two months notice before the edition even comes out that these things are going to Legends. It's not like, for example, Horus Heresy models, where literally up until the launch of 10th edition, they were marketed as usable in games of Warhammer 40k, and then they went, ah, now they're not anymore. And actually, when the decision very first came out that they weren't usable in games of 40k anymore, their, their description on the Warhammer um, shop page still said, usable in games of Warhammer 40k. They've given us two months notice for this stuff that's not, um, that's not gonna be usable anymore. It's a shit play. It, losing models that you've spent time and effort and money on is always going to suck. It's going to suck. Do, do we think it's fair to expect them to keep every single model that they've ever made continuously going? Like, support them forever? I don't think it's even possible. Is it fair to, to assume they're going to do that? No. I, I think that sometimes we are outraged for the sake of outraged. I think that I fully understand why specifically Stormcast players are really pissed off if they already have 
a full range of Stormcast and most of it, if not all of it, is now gone Legends. But it probably had to happen and I'd rather it happen now. I've started building a Stormcast army for, uh, for 4th edition. The only things I have that are on that list are the two boxes of Evocators and the new character, uh, the character on the on the Dracoline, right? Everything else isn't on that list. I'd have been really pissed off if I'd have gone out, bought a load more Stormcast, and then they gave me the list at the point in which uh, the Codex came out, sorry, the Battle Tome came out, or the edition dropped. I'd rather it was now. I don't like it, but I would rather it was now. Oh my shit, the bird. Star pilot, have you, what have you done? Did you accidentally press it twice? Brett, thank you for five gifted. You're a hero. Big Bad Peter Gaming, thank you for one gifted. You're a hero. Star pilot, a hundred gifted memberships. I feel like that might have been... Was that an accident, an Star? An accident. Or have you literally just blown your load twice? Because why not? Oh my God. If you haven't got gifted memberships turned on, turn them on now. A star is dropping yogurt everywhere. Making McCardle look like a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, Sam, that's too much. Thank you so much, you fucking legend. That's target done for the night there. Over that, or she's just really angry about this decision. 100 gifted. Oh my God. Wow. I mean, that's made it a night, isn't it? <laughs> it's made it. The Stormcast is deleted, is two full chambers, sub faction groups. Yeah, I don't understand enough of that. Did you see my hot take? No, what was your hot take, Alec Man? I'll find it for you. Can you please? Thank you for notifying me. I hadn't seen it. But... Thank you so much, Star. Sam, I'm gonna. I'll have to message you personally a picture of my own feet. I thought you were gonna see something else then. <laughs> a picture of my own feet. You get that private now. Oh my God! It's still going. It's it wasn't still going. An accident either. It wasn't an accident. No. She says it's not an accident. No. Are you able to eat for the next week? Okay, so, Electman24 hot take. I understand why this needed to happen. There was a lot of bloat in the Stormcast range, and I own over 15,000 points of Stormcast. Oh, wow. Stop being reasonable. We want full on rage. <laughs> uh, the thing is, as well, again, right, I think for, from a channel perspective, uh, we will. We allow legends. We always have. I think by the time 4th edition comes out, the hype will have been built so that most people will have forgotten this, except those with whole armies gone. Sucks, but TBH, I think the timing is right. Yeah, I think the timing's much better than it could have been. Like, if you think of GW of the past, chat, the timing is much better than it could have been. They could, like, they could have dropped this a day before the edition launches, like they did in 40k. Worst case, they could have dropped this when the, when the battle time uh, launched. They didn't. They let you know early. Removing the Sacrosanct Chamber is like deleting Black Templars. It makes me sad, Dax. The Sacrosanct cham Chamber was probably my favourite chamber. It makes me sad. It 100% makes me sad and annoys me that they deleted that chamber. I'd be under no illusion. Better to now than like 10th 40k still it sucks. It does, exactly. This is my point, right? This is my, this is my point. This is what I'm getting at, right? It does suck. I, I, the, make no bones about it. It does suck. It 100% sucks ass. And the sucker sign, like, I've been drawn to Stormcast. I spent today on the hobbying stream building, uh, it looks like a chameleon, building a dragon, right? With no wings, it looks like a little like a chameleon, doesn't it? You're going to call it karma. <laughs> yeah. I've, I spent today building karma, right? Um, <laughs> I love the Stormcast range. One of the things that pulled me to the Stormcast range were these, literally these guys on their, like, lion pig dragon things right the coolest shit i love them i love the sacrosanct chamber i think it's awesome and to remove the whole chamber for me really sucks but i'm not at least i'm not hundreds and hundreds of pounds in now don't get me wrong some of you out there will already be hundreds and hundreds of pounds in and it will really fucking sting but again you're going to be have competition usable rules for the next over the next year and after that you'll still get legends rules if however if however you just play tournament play, it will, in the summer of 2025, suck ass that all of your collection is no longer usable. Because I assume tournaments won't allow Legends units because they don't in 40k. I don't know this for certain in Age of Sigma, but I'm assuming they won't, okay? That will suck. There's no moving around that. But I think if you're a Stormcast player, let's be straight up, right? Let's, let's have a moment when Liam's going to get shot in public 
If you're a Stormcast player, you probably have thought to yourself, this is a bit much how many options we have. Um, Mr. The Warhip, Sir Josh, is a Stormcast player. We had the conversation. He said, the book has got too many War Scrolls. It needs reducing. We all knew it needed reducing. Everybody has complained for ages about how big and thick the Space Marine Codex is. They've told us early. Is it that bad? It's bad, but is it that bad? So the Sacrosanct Chamber is going away for narrative reasons. Other models are getting newer models, so not going away rules-wise, but they're just getting new models. Yeah, which is what Games Workshop have said to people. Again, the way in which they've worded it, Wargunner, is, is a bit tone deaf. But they've gone, hey, don't worry, there's new... Like, they have tried to word it that when the new sculpts come out, you just use the new War Scroll with your old models, but they haven't been very clear about it. And the thing that annoys me the most about it... Here's the thing, right, Wargunner. Here's the, here's the thing that really, that really pisses me off. Okay. We, they've, said to, they've said on social media... Most, some of these are going to get replaced and you'll get to use new war scrolls, right? They've said that on social media. Cool. That makes sense. That's fine. Which ones? Which ones am I getting rid of? Which ones am I keeping? Which ones? Because some people, when things move to Legends, some people won't want to keep them. But you don't know which. The other big thing that this does for me, though, this is the other thing that really, that really concerns me slightly about the future of our hobby in general is some people will look at this and potentially become quite nervous about investing in new model ranges. Because they'll go, well, if I buy this new model range, if I buy, um, I don't know, Lumineth Realm Lords, because Luce bought me Llama Riders yesterday, if I buy Lumineth Realm Lords, what, do I buy into it or am I assuming they're... Shop Togas didn't go the same way as Beastman. I actually agree, Adam. 100% I actually agree. But, like, someone now might come to the range and be like, well, if I buy New Death Realm Lords, am I worried that in the next five years they're going to remove half the model range? The fact that we're getting new Liberators and losing newer models, what are they doing? Oh, 100%. Again, trust me. Trust me, Dax. Some of my favourites. I, I am pissed off because I would want to have run these at tournaments and I don't think I'm going to be able to after 2025. Um, but the, but I but I hundred percent think the Stormcast range needed thinning. My only hope is that going the way of Legends isn't in fact going the way of the Dodo, and I hope that when Fifth Edition comes, these old units will still have Legends support. But that's my concern. That eventually they have no support; they literally just become a, a model on my shelf. And you know what? You know what? I'm still going to build them. I'm still going to paint them, and they'll sit on my shelf because they're pretty models. The other thing I'd like to see from GW, genuinely would like to see from GW, is a proxy guide. I'd like a proxy guide. I would like them to say, these are no longer usable, but if you want to fill them in tournaments, actually, their kind of model size and base size is the same as this unit, and you could just use these instead. It'd be fine. A legal proxy list would be something I'd fully support from GW right now. I, do, I just don't think, you know, I, I, and for those of you that have lost so many models, I my heart legitimately goes out to you, especially because most of you, unlike me, will have already built them, and already painted them, and poured time and effort into them, and my heart genuinely goes out, out to you. But I compare this to 10th edition, and I think they've done a better job this time. I'm not saying it's good. They've done a better job this time. I have concern around how much people are going to trust them in the future. When anything else comes out, they go, okay, but if I buy it, how long do you fucking destroy it and get rid of it again? And then force me to buy the next new thing. But it's not its not a massive surprise to me. Is that the Rofalcopter I heard for the Stormcast? Nope, that's my Skyship's making a quick <laughs> exit from the game. Right, you are, so I love you. Thank you so much for the 10. <laughs> GW told us to use firstborn bikes as outriders in tournaments despite the difference in base size. Yeah, see, that's that, that's good shit. That's what you should be doing. 100% that's what you should be doing. I, I want legitimate, legitimized um, proxy lists for Age of Sigmar stuff that's being removed. I think that'd be good. Unpopular opinion from someone who just got back into this. I'm getting new models and sheets. I don't like bloated lists and I understand it isn't, uh, po isn't positive, possible to just keep growing. I don't mind this. I don't mind it. I actually don't... Like, I feel like we're going to see a ton of 
absolute clickbait rage shit on YouTube over the coming days about this. Um, and I don't think it's that bad. It's bad. And for those select few people who have who have been hit hard by this, it's going to fucking sting and it's going to suck. And I wouldn't want to bet some of those people are potentially now going to walk away. But let's, let's approach this logically. And if you're one of those people, you're not going to like what I'm about to say. But let's approach this logically, right? If you're one of those people that's going to walk away because 90% of your, mod your army's just been legends, but the simplification of number of data sheets in the Stormcast book means it brings in 10 more people, that's a net positive of 9 for GW. I think they'll consider that a business win. I think the Stormcast players are overreacting me and my mate only got into Aos a year ago. He picked Beast of Chaos and his entire army is just gone and none of us is interested into Old World. So a year of work for him is just down the drain. Yeah, that sucks, Toxtray. Thank you for the 50, man, by the way. What an absolute legend. That does suck a little bit. How's he feeling about it, though? Is he, is he kind of like, eh, cool, whatever. I'll start something new. Or is he really, really gutted? The honest war gamer thinks sacrosanct units will be back in fifth with slim down looking models. Maybe. Maybe. Potentially walking away? Now some are definitely walking away. I didn't want to assume Raziel. I haven't seen I haven't seen anyone say I'm definitely going. I'm definitely walking away. So I don't want to assume that that's what people are gonna do. But I would understand some people would want to do that. It happened in 10th edition as well. 100 percent It happened to some people uh, in 10th edition. So it wouldn't surprise me. But again, like you have to think of it. If there's a if there's a net win of people coming in because it's been a slimmed down, let's face it, right? Stormcast are the space marines of the AOS world. They're the poster boys, they're the get people into the game army, right? If they're making that battle tome less daunting and simpler to understand, that's probably a net positive. I mean, why should we pay for GW models at this point? Well, that's... Some of that's a morality... Like, I get it. Some of that's a morality point. I, I won't buy... I will not buy 3D printed carbon copies of GW models. I will, however, buy 3D printed complete alternatives to GW models. I have a drawer somewhere full of 3D printed warp spiders, which are completely different sculpts. They're not called warp spiders. They're clearly warp spiders. They're not called warp spiders. You know... And, and ultimately, if the business continues to piss people off like this and they do continue to use third party, then they're the ones that are going to have to solve that potential future problem and try and drag customers back into their stores. I will go as far as to say, having been recently building a bunch of uh, Age of Sigma models, I don't think anyone does models like GW. And a number of people are going to tell me I'm wrong. Proxying is one of the great things about AOS because true line of sight isn't nearly as much of a precise pain in the ass as 40k. Uh, Sunships, I'd like to go to the vibe. I'm yet to play the game in any kind of detail, so I can't really comment on it. But I feel like you, I, I feel like just in general, you'll get away approximately more in a, in a fantasy setting, perhaps. Artel warp spiders are, yeah, that's the ones I've got. That's the ones I've got. Um, that being said, right, I, I, and I don't care anyone, no matter what anyone says to me, I've had it, and before you start, chat, before you start, I've had a million people go, 3D printed models are as nice as GW sculpts nowadays. Certain printers can print as nice as, they don't, they, they're bollocks. They absolutely don't. They don't. It's nonsense. GW currently, at least, currently, still make the best miniatures in the in the world. That's a fact. Right? It just is. But I would understand people not wanting to invest at the price point they're asking on the risk that in five years' time or three years' time or whenever the next edition comes out, your stuff gets legendsed. I get it. Because let's face it, if you're looking at buying an army now for Age of Sigma, some people are going to have it in their mind. If I buy... It's next to me, so that's why. If I buy Storm Drake Guard now, right, will it still be legal in 4th edition? 5th uh, edition, sorry. Will it still be legal? TBH, if they are giving new sexy models, ask yourself this, would you be getting them anyway? They used to just give the old stuff shit rules anyway. Yeah, I think it's about options though, Dave. I agree with you, to be fair, but I think it's about options. People like having at least the option rather than being told what to do. Right? People like having the option. 
So this is the problem, right? I buy Storm Drake, I buy Storm, Storm, Storm Drake Guard for fourth edition. In the back of my mind now, I'm going to be thinking to myself, well, what, can I still use this in fifth edition? That's not something that should be in my mind. And it's not good for GW's uh, business for me to have that in my mind, right? So in my mind, I should be going, I want that, that's it, nothing else. He's thinking of stopping and I'm probably not going to buy any extra models either. We are already looking for a different game to play because GW has been disappointing us more and more. I get it, Toxtrio. Honestly, I get it. It's a shame, but I get it. I love building and converting 3D printer takes all of that away. Boring for me. That's fair. I, I've got nothing against people that use 3D printed. I have nothing, nothing against it at all. The only thing I ever have a problem with is when the 3D print is a direct copy. So when people go, I don't want to pay the price for GW model, I'm going to buy a direct copy from a different printer. That annoys me because that's essentially theft, right? It's IP theft. If you have, if you buy a 3D printed, I don't care if you buy a 3D printed Warhound Titan, as long as it's different to GW's actual Titan, I don't care. It could be so like, that's a Warhound Titan. And 3D printers out there like, 3D printing, Let's be fair, right? Let's be straight up. 3D printing is the only real thing currently keeping Old World alive, I reckon, apart from people that have got historic armies. Because if you go on places like Etsy and eBay, you can find tons of 3D printed things like Wood Elves and High Elves, some of which are actually nicer than GW's old sculpts. That, that I will agree with 100%, you know? And some of it's beautiful. The fact they got rid of Warcry bans hardly a year old is mind blowing. You think that's for tidiness sake? Or is that, is removing the Warcry war bans as well more of a move to segregate games out for analytics purposes? I've stopped buying because of the Skaven refresh, but I would be using them in the old world anyway. I was talking to Kyle about this recently. So Kyle wants to do old uh, Skaven in the new edition of, of Age of Sigma. And he was looking at the Skaven range online and he said how much channel budget do we have for, for new stuff? I was like, if you want more Seraphon, there's channel budget. If you want Skaven, I'm buying nothing. And he said, well, this is like three days ago. He said, all right. I was like, I'm not buying, I'm not buying Skaven models because I reckon they're going to get a monumental range refresh, which, you know, evidently today is probably likely to happen. But hey, Mr. Wicked, how's it going, man? GW has never stolen IP, have they? Their whole line are stolen in parody. Mm, stolen? Mm. 3D printing is a hobby within a hobby, just like uh, just like the idea, lack the time and effort. We have a 3D printer in the studio, and I'm hoping at some point in the next two weeks I can finally do the unboxing video for it and get it out and get start getting it used. And I'm excited to use it. I'd like to use it for things like 3D bases or terrain that we can make and design. That's the kind of thing I'm looking forward to. And if I can get Joe's creative brain to work out how to design the terrain that he wants to see on the tabletop and then we can print it, that would be absolute absolutely amazing um that's how i'd like to use it or shoulder pads like i'd like to make a great whole shoulder pads i think that'd be cool but you know we'll see 45 bucks for five divergences is theft i mean that's fair i can't argue that at all that's absolutely fair <laughs> selling a book that's wrong on day one is also theft again i can't argue there i can't argue there like that's a that's a practice that i really fucking hate like retconning a book on, on the first day or within two weeks of it coming out is bad. Depending on how I feel in a month or so, you want my Stormcast, all of it. I couldn't do that, man. Keep it, Dax, keep it. Is it safe to buy Predators for a new Space Marine army? Honestly, but that's the question, Lucky Geekly, right? That's the question now. Is it safe to buy anything strictly? Is it safe to buy anything stri strictly? I like Charlie's comment as well. People drop hundreds on footy shirts every season or gamers buy the latest games and skins and add-ons at smaller price, but more often. So it happens every day, month and year. It's what companies do. I, I, there's, there's that as well that we have to think of, right? I think it's slightly different with Wargaming. I'll be honest with you. I feel like it's slightly different with Wargaming simply because when you buy the product, when you buy the Dragon or the Evocators or your Predator or your Warhound, when you buy any of those things, it doesn't stop there, right? What happens there is you then sit, you build it, you paint it, you get it ready for the tabletop, 
uh, and then you use it in games of Warhammer 40k. Now, because you have to do that building and painting stage, I feel like a lot more love and effort goes into models than it does a footy shirt or game DLC or skins on Call of Duty, for example. So I, I think that that's why, if I'm honest with you, I feel like that's why people take it more personally. Cody, did I say thank you for the gifted? I don't know if I did. Thank you for the gifted, man. You're a legend. I think that's why people take it more personally because they actually put their own personal time and effort into to developing this into something that's usable. When you buy a box of models or a model, it's not usable at that point. You have to do something with it for you to use it. Right? But I don't think this is this is all that doom and gloom on the grand scheme. Uh, and I personally don't think this kills 4th edition Age of Sigmar out the gate. I A comment that was said earlier, which I, I think I pretty much agree with, which was by uh, Mr. Christopher. I think that within the next two months, a lot of this will have died down. People will be pretty chilled out comparatively with today. And people will get back to being excited. I would rather this comes now and then they try and build hype again rather than build hype and then drop this at the end. I feel like this is a decision that had to happen. It's a shame that it's come and it's a shame. I feel very bad for those people that have lost stuff. I've lost three boxes because I'm new to AOS. I've lost three boxes. So for me, it's not world ending. And if you are a person who has gone, you know what, enough is enough and I'm done. I don't want to play this anymore. I don't want to play games, workshop games anymore. You know what? I understand. And if you decide to disappear off into a different community, I understand. I'd be sad. Less people in the communities are a bad thing. More people in the community is always a good thing. Always a good thing. But if you if you do decide to do that, I understand. Legends is new meaning. Can't use that as praise any longer. Just means you are outdated and soon to be retired. Oh no, Kev. Does that mean I can't call people legends anymore? <laughs> I'm looking for a green leather colour. Anyone know of a paint that will work? A green leather colour. Oh, that's an interesting. Sons of Horace Green. Is that the name of it? No. 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 Lupercal. Lupercal green, maybe? Maybe. Positive is gold. Keep those people around you. I, I mean, I try and be positive anyway, right? We can't, we can't. I'd, I'd make sure they know that people are pissed off. But let's be honest. I think, I think we're naive if we think that Games Workshop weren't expecting people to be negative about this. I personally believe that they have specifically placed this article in now to try and get the upset out the way. I think it's a tactical choice. I genuinely think it's a tactical choice. To get the positive, to get the negative out of the way, place it now. And then we'll continue to build excitement about the new edition. I think they knew it was going to piss people off and upset people. And I think they absolutely knew that they were going to uh, probably lose a few people from the game. I think I knew that. And it's a shame. And no one wants that to happen. And GW don't want that to happen. So I think they probably made this decision because it had to be made rather than fuck it or just fuck a load of people off. I don't like the tone deaf responses on social media. And I, I genuinely don't like the way the social media team operates in general. I'm really fed up of the, if we hear any news, we'll let you know. Fuck off. You already know. Stop putting bullshit in. I don't like that. Right. Have not played 40k for a decade or so. I'm still around the community because Liam and Luce deserve to be supported. Oh, Gaz. That's nice. Look at that. I read that out just as you sat down as well. Isn't that nice? Aw. Aw. You're amazing. I'm just painting the moment, just getting ready for Age of Sigma 4. 100% a tactical choice. It is a tactical choice. Absolutely, it is. It has to be. 100% it has to be. How, I, AOS doesn't appeal to me, so I'm largely unaffected. I feel bad for folks. It's a really shit move. It is. It's, it's the same as we went through last summer with 40k. My only hope is, here's a here's a blind faith moment of hope, right? Which people will probably laugh at me for. But my only hope is they've gone, hmm, this is, we can't get to a point where we have codexes with 100 war scrolls or 100 data sheets. So let's not do that again. Let's not do that again. Right? 
I'm hoping that's I'm hoping they're like let's not let it get there again maybe maybe that's the case this looks like a bold spot loose well we can have a look what do you want to do if it is? It might just be the way that my hair's, but what's well, sorry, lead weird on it. Yeah, I think we're okay. I think we're good. To be fair, the social media people probably don't know a left in the dark, just as we are. I mean, to be honest with you, Carissa, you're probably not wrong. So don't post those comments then, right? <laughs> don't post comments at all. How refreshing would it be to see the social media team going, we don't know fucking know what's going on too. What's this bullshit? I'd like to see that from GW. It's the hope that kills you. It is. It's the hope that kills you. <laughs> Some cars needed cold. Sucks, but it was badly needed. That's my point, mid tier. That's exactly my point. 100%. Hair plugs are showing. Thanks, Asbo. <laughs> Here's the deal, GW. Legend if you have to. But you had better put rules for the Legend's models in the app. It is absolutely criminal that they don't. I think that would make my accepting of Legends in 40k. 60%, 70% better, Sean, if they did that. Right? If they actually put those things in 40k app, I'd, I'd be a lot more likely to... Uh, I'd be a lot more likely to probably use them in games on the channel. We're moving at some point in the near future to two big iPads either side, so we don't have the terrible card admin that's going on. And the fact that we can't get the Legends units in the app with all the rules really, really sucks. A bit of chaos black will fix that bold spot. Thanks, Mystics. <laughs> Mid tier, thank you for the gifted. Thank you for the gifted. You have a hair a hair plug link like the beard one. No, I don't, we man, not yet. I've only just noticed it. Right. <laughs> Thanks for getting my name right. I just read. My ass being ignored again today. No, I'm not ignoring anyone. Just reading random comments. Miss of the Leon. How you doing, dude? How is Sony South Africa today? I'm not as outraged at this, and I've got a big Stormcast tunnel time. At the end of the day, some of these legends will come back and newer models, so it's just for I hope. For, so some, I'm gonna assume, right, 360 people watching, it's a big audience tonight, by the way, Luce. 360 people watching, by the way, only 148 likes. If if you can, just smash that like button for me, it's completely free, right? I am assuming some of you are current Age of Sigmar players, perhaps even veteran Age of Sigmar players. Do you already have units that are legends in Age of Sigma? Is the first question. And the second question is, how accepted are legends in games of Age of Sigma? Because in 40k, they're kind of a bit boo-booed. Like, you don't really ever see people take them. We allow them on the channel, because some people just play with whatever they want to play with. But, and have fun and enjoy themselves. We typically don't see them in general. Is it any different? They sell German beard hair on the net. <laughs> we man. Look, just because you're a thing now doesn't mean you can abuse me. Actually, it does mean that's what they all do all the time. Now I have as many non-legend Stormcast sellers as my uh, WS, which is one model. I laughed a lot. Oh, that sucks. I'm here to do the usual like whilst listening and painting my shitty Horus Heresy Legion. Yes, I play Salamanders. You told us. Ah, Sons of Horus in Horus Heresy. Any good, Leon? I play Ninth Age and Heresy. In my area, Legends is 0% accepted. I pressed the like button twice. <laughs> thanks, Evo. Look, thanks for that. Send me that link. <laughs> Do you have Legends models in AOS in your collection? I have more now because of today. <laughs> I meant pre. <laughs> I was considering starting a Sacrosanct army just a few days ago. Me too. Hey, new here. How's it going? How's it going? Oh, hang on. Mr. Goody Goody Gumdrops. <laughs> it's a great name. It's wet, is it? In South Africa? I thought South Africa was always sunny. Can't legend me. I'm already a legend, says Joe Cole's only feet. I still don't know who you are. Sons of Horus are amazing. Oh, I don't want amazing. I just want, like, middle of the road. <sighs> no joke. I used to LARP and they sold their hair in pretend beards for LARPers to. Oh, my God. Joe Cole's only feet says clue for you, Luce. Mm -hmm. My favourite colour is blue. Why would that be a clue? Lots of people like the colour blue. I think that means I think that makes it stick, monkey. No, I asked Sean and he said no. And his, Sean wouldn't lie to but me. But his favourite army is ultramarines and they're blue. No, I asked him and he said no. <clears throat> you 
you get loads of support for players as of Horus. I just want to. I just want to play the Horus Ascended model. It's cool as shit. I see lots of Earth Shaker cannons. No joke. I used. To, oh, I've done that one already. Uh, my third. Ed, my third Games Workshop game is Necromunda. I expect House Goliath to die out or something. <laughs> I know what I'm working is, Leon, don't you worry. I was using scout snipers for a while, but it got moved to Legends. Don't know if you caught my last message, but I if I do end up completely axing both 40k and EOS, would you be interested in a donation of my armies if can't sell them in the first few months? I, um, I'm going to wait till 4th first. Fox Trio, that's incredibly generous. First of all, 20, 20 more bucks super chat is incredibly generous. Secondly, offering to donate the armies, donate the armies is incredibly generous. But please keep hold of them. Please keep hold of them. Honestly. The amount of people that I know that have given away or sold armies from games, especially in moments of anger and irritation because of what's happened to their army, their faction, their game that they love, and then later come to regret it, is astronomical. It's a ton of people. Even if you carefully pack them into a box and nicely put them away, it might be that in two years' time, you go, I really miss that fucking game and you get them back out. Please keep hold of them. You are also you're also fully welcome to completely fucking ignore me and do what you want. But but please keep hold of them, honestly. My main army is safe to darkness and those units going isn't an issue for me and Kagras ravages if I get some random chaos warriors I can add them to make the 10 man squads it's not it's not it's nothing but nothing burger to me. If you ever play Warrior of the Raid Legion, nobody's going to give you shit about it. Play Smurfs and Heresy. I can't play Smurfs, Leon, ever. I can't. I can't be that person. <laughs> Nobody likes blue anyway. Facts, Carl. Facts. Mm. Being there, done that, not a good idea. What? What's not a good idea? Get rid of them. Or keeping them. Don't be the guy who burnt his old world army when AOS was announced. No, exactly. Don't do that. Don't be that guy. Just keep them for me, please. Promise me. At least for like a year. At least for a year. And if you come back to the channel in a year's time and say, Hey Liam, on the 4th of April, you told me to keep both of my armies. I haven't touched them. I hate them still. Really, really angry. Blah, 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 blah. I want to get rid of them now. I'll be like, okay, you waited a year. As someone who have given away many an army, it's nice to give them away, but there's always the wish I kept them as I was well proud. Yeah, absolutely. When Decimators got axed for 40k, I bought two more cheaply off of eBay as everyone was getting shot of them. Smurfs are pretty. Lies, Chris, lies. It's Brom. His blood runs blue. It's not Brom because because the thing is, right, Joe Cole's only feats gifted 50 in the past. There's no way it's Brom. There's no way. If he gifted 50 in the channel, his missus would slam his nuts in the door. The ones who avoid the Salamanders and Thousand Sons, they both feel bad legions. They'll try Iron Hands and then middling and OP legions, uh, Imperial Fists and Sons of Horus. Maybe we'll just go OP, right? Zero chance for my bikers to return. Maybe I can play Sequitus as Vindicators, but what will what to do with the Evocators and Ballistas on Judicators? I don't know those. I don't, I've got the Evocators. I don't know what to do with them, but... Have you seen how many Stormcast armies are on eBay right now? Lol. If they're grey and plastic, I might go buy them, even if they're going Legends, if I'm honest with you, Dax. Honestly... More models for me. More pretty models. Like, them going to Legends doesn't stop them being a pretty model. You know what I mean? Barraged into Age of Sigma and bought a ton of Gloomspike gits. They got away lightly with the mid-cap Shaman. Wish they would refresh the basic gits. So Gloomspike gits are glorious. You are a legend, not in the GW sense. <laughs> I feel like that's going to have to be a new clarification now, right? If you call people a legend, you have to do it not in the GW sense. In the actual legend sense. Now is also a decent time to maybe get into AOS as people will sell these models so you can pick up some cheap stuff and use them as counts as. Well, that's, you know, that's the thing, right? They're still pretty models. Yeah, I, I don't... Uh, the other day... I said the other day, this is like two months ago, right? Two months ago. I um, loaded up on my computer when I was playing more video games two months ago. I loaded up um, Battlefield 1, right? It's an old Battlefield game from a long time ago. A long, long time ago. I think it's like 
eight years old or something now. It's quite an old game. Ten years old, maybe. I loaded it up and I played it. Now, that game has had no support in years. Years and years and years and years. But I still really enjoyed it. This, these models can have no support in six years' time. It doesn't mean I still don't like the models. You know, even as a hobby project, they're still beautiful. I still think they have value as a hobby project, a product. Just because I don't understand this need, just because it's no longer supported, I'll, I'll get us get rid of it. I'm seeing more armies on eBay than ever. Would love to play Legends, but they are hard to play as they are not in the Apple book. That's my biggest problem. If the, I think for everybody, I think if they simply just put Legends units into into the app, people will be more accepting. I have I literally have a meeting with GW tomorrow, by the way. I'll be bringing that up. Uh, I, I love this man's name. I'm very jealous of this man's name. This He's called Eric Odinson. Isn't that just a great name? Son of Odin. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I've missed a, a, the fucking chat's moving now. How many people play Legends Models Factions? Just curious. We allow Legends Models on the channel. We play it a lot. I don't know how what the general community is like, though. <laughs> Sequitas are still better looking Liberators than the new Liberator model. 100%. Buy them. I'll be buying some just when I go, I have them. A lot of people do that talk, actually. A lot of people do that. A lot of people will buy kits that they know are going out of stock because they're like, well, I can't ever get them in the future. So I might as well get hold of the kits now. Uh, I was in the hobby nearly 20 years before I ever picked up the dice in a codex. At times like this, I just love models. I, I that, there, There's a the thing, right? This is the other thing as well. For some people, this isn't the case. I'm aware of this, right? There's 360 people in chat right now. For some people, I am aware that the case is I just want to play. And if I'm not using them to play, I don't want them. I get that that's the case. But most of us, at least, most of us, we're kind of just hobbyists as well as players and narrative enjoyers and fucking idiots who like to laugh at each other. So just enjoy the hobby aspect of it. Take it, treat it as a hobby project. I've told my local... I've told my local meta it's all anti is all anti legends, but if someone in your group says, "Can I play this?" Who the hell would say no? Yeah, exactly. I just want it in the app. That's all I need. All they need is a toggle button on the app for including legends. I bet they do. Like, I bet it would happen. Only way I can play 40k. All my models are legends. We've got tons of legend stuff at the studio. I won't get rid of it. I never sold any of my Bretonians. Kept them safe. I played them with the PDF AOS Legends rules. People love it playing against them. Got me into AOS and deep into narrative gaming on the whole. And now you can use them in Old World as well. Look at you go mid tier. Not so mid tier anymore. My daughter plays the Adeptus Sororitas Repressor. It is amazing. Good. You allow Legends, but how often do they get played? Curious because I've not kept that close attention to it. Not as much as we probably should, Fat Fox. The biggest issue for us is accessibility to rules what we're playing right so most people on the channel play minimum three to four armies uh joe and i play six seven eight armies each so rem just flat remembering the rules is quite difficult it's just not easy to do it's never going to be easy to do so we use the cards and you've probably seen that we use the cards right so uh the other thing we use quite heavily is the app so both of those don't give you legends rules you have to go and find the pdf if they could just turn on Legends in the app, uh, we would see us use a lot more of them, I guarantee. I guarantee. Haven't played a game, five armies, just enjoy this painting in the books. Oh, thanks, Asbo. GW will charge extra for Legends in the app. You'll be forced to pay out. Oh, don't. You're probably not wrong. That's the worst part. Khaki Green Gnome, screw AOS and 40k Blood Bowl all the way. You've got to think about Blood Bowl right now, Kai, haven't you? One of the reasons I'm waiting till fourth drops to see if GW improves, but how the last year's been going from my, with GW not looking great. I, d I feel like, talk straight, right? I feel like, I feel like, <laughs> this is famous last words. Please don't come at me if it does happen. I feel like for what, you're, what you'd be speaking about, it can't get worse. Right? Is my hope for you, sir. I jet my, like, everything is crossed for you, sir. 
Genuinely. Tourists from Fleshy is, and they still haven't arrived because, according to GW, there's a problem in transit. And since the army box is one of the signs, listening, I knew one. This step here is a terrible precedent, and now indicates that GW is down with the idea of planned obsolescence because the reality is Legends is a substantial marginalization of the data sheet. Half. Some big words in there, John. All right. I think they are down with the idea of planned obsolescence, I'll be honest. I, don't, I think. John, did you know Star Pilot came in today and gifted a hundred memberships? I don't know what she's been smoking. A hundred. What the fuck? It's man mental. Josh, you think I got into the hobby when I was 14. I'm 33 now. I got back into it seriously six years ago and have uh, and have Chaos, Eldar, Adeptus, Sararitas, Blood Angels, Drakari, Votan, Necrons, Guard Army, all still in boxes. Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's mad. Glenn, thanks for the sub. I don't know if you're watching live, but thanks. You put that energy out here. How dare you? Can't get worse. You could just get cursed. We can't get worse. Come on, we're here. I'm here for you, man. Do I have a story for you? <laughs> Talk I'm here for you. I'm here for you, all right? I told John that Star uh, gifted 100. Thank you, John McConnell, for the one gifted membership. <laughs> What's that? Hot cross bun. Is it? Mm -hmm. Oh, it is a hot cross, a homemade hot cross bun. Mm -hmm. That's... It's a little sticky. They need to rethink how do they create data sheets if they refuse to go back to points upgrades for units. This is a bad faith move. I think it is a bad Two faith moves. I think it is a bad faith move. I, I am inclined to agree with you that it is a bad faith move. Why do all companies that make nerd products hate their customers? Disney, Blizzard, EA, Watk, and now GW treating SC players like pay pigs. So first of all, to John's point, right? Thank you bo both of you for the super chats. You're amazing. Bone Bone Saw is ready. Thank you for the five bucks. John McCall, thank you for the 20. You're, you're heroes. I think it is a bad faith move. I agree with you. I think they do need to reassess how they go about doing some of this, right? And I also think that this is part of this. And I, maybe I'm being overly optimistic here. But I think part of this whole decision is we need to nip it in the bud, do a mini reset, and not let it get that way again. Right? If that's the case, it's not the worst ever. It's not good. It is a bad faith move. I agree with you. Right? However maybe just maybe this is the this is the reset we said that space marines needed it i don't i personally don't think space marines got hit with as hard a nerf bat as i would have not nerf bat but a harder hedge trimming as i as i would have liked them to i feel like the codex is still too big personally and i I've, my my concern with the space marine book is they're going to slowly but surely slowly but surely slowly but surely slowly but surely trim it down right that's a fear because that means you'll never know if you're if you're um if you're safe or not right Whereas Stormcast have gone bang, there you go, take a load out. I'm hoping that's what, the, and, they, and they reset and they, they hold it there. But I don't disagree, I think it is a bad faith move. And I think it is, you know, anything that does this upsets people, which means moves me on to Bone Source Ready's uh, point. Why do all companies, there's a simple answer to this, unfortunately. And I don't like saying this out loud because it sounds a little bit like I'm going to encourage people to walk away from the hobby, which obviously from my perspective, from my business's perspective, and from what we're doing's perspective, this is a very bad idea. However, why do Disney, Blizzard, EA, Wizards of the Coast, Games Workshop all treat their fan bases like shit? Or why they don't, I don't think they purposely treat them like shit, but why do they do things which makes it look like they don't care about you whilst continuously releasing new product that you can buy? Why do they do that? Why would they do that? I can't ask you, you have a mouthful of bun. No, I'm not, I'm not in a position to talk. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even type. I'm typing with my two pinkies because everything's covered in sticky. <laughs> it's not that kind of stream chat. We're not on Twitch. Um, uh, it's a simple answer as to why they do it. There's two reasons why they do it. The first one, Sean's already nailed. The customers just accept it normally. They moan a bit, but they accept it. Secondly, what happens afterwards? For most of the customers, not for everybody, because we already have discussed the fact that some people are walking away. But but what happens for most of the customers? Again, Sean's nailed it. They complain while buying the new product. I can't believe you did that to my stuff. I'm going to have to buy all this new shit. That's why. That's why. 
it's like Call of Duty, right? Call of Duty is a game. I've stopped playing it now. I've categorically stopped playing it now. And I stopped playing it, funny old enough, when the when the Warhammer stuff came out. Because when the Warhammer stuff started coming out on, on Call of Duty, I bought the first skin pack. And I stopped. And I, I sat back. And that's basically when I stopped playing the game. Because I actually stopped and I thought about this. And I was like... I was going to buy all of the Games Workshop packs, all of the all of the Warhammer packs on Call of Duty. I'm like, why am I doing it? They're literally just partnering with my favourite brand because it means I'll spend money. They haven't fixed the game. The game's still broke as fuck. The cheating problem is still absolutely rampant. There's issues with the game. There's issues with the server. There's issues with the stability. But I'll be I'll be spending money. And then I realised they don't give a fuck as long as I'm spending money. They just don't care. And unfortunately, <clears throat> any major company, and it doesn't matter whether it's a... Like, you say, why do all companies that make nerd products? I don't actually think it's just companies that make nerd products. Any major profitable company, the majority, not every single one, but the majority of them, don't give a fuck as long as they're making money. The only people they care about keeping happy, the only people they care about keeping happy is the shareholders. No one else. keep shareholders happy your business remains powerful you keep shareholders happy by making money so as long as we continue to buy products they'll continue to, to continue their behavior it's as simple with any company it's as simple as that if i the shame of it is right if i came on stream over the course of the next three weeks and i put out dog shit content right it wasn't nice and pretty. It wasn't... I didn't put time and effort into the production quality. Our models on stream weren't painted or even built properly. Our tables weren't nice narrative tables. We were using big bits of fucking polystyrene and we weren't using proper tables. Our cameras looked like we'd smid cum all over them. If we did that, if that was the level of content that we put out, I would expect you all, genuinely, to stop gifting memberships and to stop super chatting. Without doubt. If I started producing a dog shit product, I would expect you all to stop spending money on me. 100%, without doubt. If, however, GW do something like this, the majority of people will, in fact, start buying 40k money. Will, in fact, start... Okay, let me put it this way. If I stopped putting any effort in and I was like, just started going... It's all right, isn't it? I'd pay to watch Emily to bun. Stop it, you lot, right? If you did that, it would be... I can't read that out, Sean. Uh, but you get my point, right? Smaller businesses, if smaller businesses fuck up, it hurts them a lot more than big businesses fuck up. Right? Big businesses fuck up, it's a bit more of a ripple in the ocean. Because, like I said, if one person stops playing the game and 10 more people start playing the game, that's a net gain of nine. That's a success for GW. So they don't care about that one person that leaves. If 10 people stopped buying product and one new person started buying product, suddenly they'd care. Send you a PM on Discord cause the story was too big for YouTube chat. Is it something you want me to read out on YouTube, Toxtra? Because I have Discord in front of me, I can read it out. Some people pay extra that kind of abuse. <laughs> David, hang on, Delisle? Delisle. I reckon Delisle. Thank you for the gifted membership. Thank you so much, man. You are a legend. Brian, thank you for the gifted as well. 118 of the finest new members. You people are incredible. Could we get, what, 15 minutes? Could we get to one fiddy before the end of the night? We could make up for last night then, look. Make up for last night? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't do that. I'll have to sub to TTs again. Oh, no, God. Don't worry. I can't. I'm too proud. I will, I will always want to kick out the best possible product we can. 100%. And I enjoy this too much anyway. You can. It's a bit of a laugh. Okay, right. Tox Trio has sent us a long message. How long is this message before I actually agree to read it out? Message requests. Oh my god, it's a long one. Except DM. Oh, I'm going to read it first. Right, okay. Just had to make sure it was okay for stream, right? So in terms of it can't get worse, I have a fun little story. Last year in January, I got a big holiday bonus. So I wanted to spoil myself and support my local gaming store. So I ordered around 700 euro of Necrons. 
Around this time, there were lots of problems with Games Workshop and shipping stuff being sold out. So as a joke, I told someone of the LGS and a good mate of, me, of mine that if I get something every week, I'll be happy. And boy, did that make mo did that mo mokey poor work. What's that say? Mokey poor? Because I got one box of models every two-ish weeks. That's all right. You get to use it, build it, paint it, and then the next one comes. <laughs> that is perfect. <laughs> Thanks for the message, DJ Hero. Someone else as well. Oh, okay. It's a different DM. We'll look at that one later. 40k medic, thank you for the five gifted. Up to 123. 27 to go, chat. Just 27 to go. Is it does it work? Just 27 to go? No, seven and one are just two different syllables. Just 27 seconds ago. Is it? Mm, yeah, you got are you all right two. over there? You look like you're suffering. Was that a bit of a big bun? No, I've got um backache. I've got everything ache. I think, I think I've been crouching down to the dog too much today. <laughs> I should just get on the floor with her and just stop crouching uh, down. Thank you, Kate. Thank you, Medic, for the five gifts. You're a legend. Up to 123 of the finest memberships. I love you, people. Right? I love you, people. Late to the party. Imagine someone's kids put all their money on minis, their weekends and evenings painting those minis, then you have to tell them they can't play the new edition. I'd be fuming. I I'd be fuming too, Chris, but my only hope would be, especially if it's a young kid, you'd be like, you know what? There's all these Legends rules you can still play. Because they're not going to tournaments, right? So at least they've got rules. Vote with your wallet. If you don't like what GW is doing, give more support to Liam so he can expand and create his own war game. Fat Fox, thanks for the five. Appreciate it. Do that, chat. Do that. What I won't ever do is put a, a, a numerical figure on what it would cost to make my own game because I reckon that sounds like a fucking hell of a lot of work. Sounds difficult. <laughs> That's right. Don't buy new Stormcast or, or Skaven. Pay for memberships instead. Is that metal spinner out here? No, it's really full. Oh, hang on. Or maybe. No, it's still in there. Still in there. Going full on Hasbro in the race of offending the customers. <laughs> yep. Yep. Luce can write the rules. Exactly. Have we got another rule for tonight? Well, I wasn't sure we were going to get to it, if I'm honest. It seems to be far more. It was, a serious, it was a serious chat tonight. It was serious. It was a serious chat tonight, I'm afraid. Um, well, not a serious chat, a serious chat. Uh, it is a serious chat tonight, and uh, I can promise you all, tomorrow won't be such a serious chat. Tomorrow will be a silly chat, because tomorrow at 8.30 is 40k after dark. Uh, well, I'll drink some more mead, and we'll chat bollocks. All will be happy and cheerful again after today's bad news. So today was bad news for a lot of people. Mm. Have you, you've got the gist of it already? Mm -hmm. I don't need to explain it to you in layman's terms. No. <laughs> there was a very assured no. <laughs> no, no. I don't need it explaining. You sure? You want me to man yep. explain it to you? No, I'm very sure. I'm very, very sure. Oh. I don't need the two hour brief. It's not a two hour brief. I don't need it to be that. You... You're right, you're right. It's not a two hour brief. It's like lots of 10 minute briefs. I need you to come and cut my hair in a minute anyway. Sporadically so. throughout the day. And I could be making you a cup of tea and at any given moment you'll start going on about GW. And I need to remember what was the last thing he said an hour ago that now he's just sprung into action and carried on. And between that, we could have been talking about anything. It happens Anything. quite a lot. And I've learned not to take it personally if we're talking about something a little bit intimate. And, you know, being being a lady, we're sensitive. And, you know, when our bottoms get bigger or our hair gets greyer. And we come to you for self-reassurance and to be told that we're still beautiful. Oh, no, no, no. There's a GW talk pending. I've learned not to take it personally. I mean, it, it it's is... It's a wonder that I'm so good at baking now, because maybe I like to punch the dough. It is basically a, a Games Workshop channel, Luce. <sighs> the house isn't. The house is a house. Every time we wake up in the morning and she realises this is not a Joe day where I'll get to go and see Joe all day, she sighs a little bit because she knows that she'll be the person talked at. <laughs> you actually know who Mr. Darcy is. That's all I ask. So that when I want to talk to you about something I want to talk about, I can also pick up where we left off, but no. If I need someone to raid, we can raid Hobby Collab. Yeah, we can do that. We can raid Hobby Collab in a minute. It looks like you tried to cut your hair with a week. No, it's just, so I slept funny and it's all just separated out like, like that, right? My hair's thick normally. And I didn't gel it together like I normally do to hide all the little spots and stuff. Let's see, it's fine. 
Uh, and I need to put because I, I wanted to put I want to put clippers over it, make it slightly shorter again. Um, and I can't do that with hair gelling because it goes like that, right? So I haven't I haven't done my face. Can you not tell? I'm unkempt today, absolutely unkempt today, right? Tomorrow I have another day off and I'm going to paint models and drink beer as I have two job interviews lined up already for next week. Oh, congratulations. Congratulations. You legend. Uh, GW is too big to fail like that organize a boycott on unless they start killing puppies or something. I mean, let's be fair. One of the things we're going to have to get in our minds, genuinely, um, honestly, right, is that Games Workshop are going to do what Games Workshop do. And we're not going to change that. And voting with wallets is a lovely concept and a lovely idea, but honestly, I don't think it's going to make a dent. What's the next Chaos update going to be tomorrow? An executive has to piss on your face before you can play pickup games. Bosor. <laughs> Some people will be into that. That's the problem, right? That's the problem. Some people will be into that. They'll be like, ooh, I'll play now. I want that. Uh, <laughs> Lisa's hair is going grey. Is it time to legends in now, Liam? Please. It's been going grey since I was... How old was I when I when it really started going? You are a legend. Stop it. <laughs> I think I was about 21 when it started to sort of like go a little bit the odd one or two. And then I think during lockdown it really went. Yeah. And that was me frantically texting my hairdresser. Oh my God. I uh, I don't know what tomorrow's update will be for AOS, but I bet it's positive. I bet it's a good one. Don't want to talk about tomorrow. I have to go to the Labour Court, taking my previous employer to court. Joyce, that sounds fun. Oh. Ugh. Next 40k after dark subject. Who in Pride and Prejudice do you want to see in Warhammer? <laughs> I've been unkempt since 1993. Sometimes I have to. Normally every day, I'm, even my day off, I'm kempt. Beard straightened, oil, hair gelled a bit. Every day. Today, I fucking couldn't be asked. I look like shit today. I'm very sorry. I look like shit today. That's just that's just a fact. You, you have to put up with it, all right? No company is too big to fail. It just depends on how big the fuck up is. 100% agree with you. Absolutely. We have, chat, hit 250 likes. You people are fucking amazing. Thank you so much for 250 likes. We're at 123 memberships. We are... 27 away from a from 150 memberships if you feel like it with seven minutes to go and to share the hobby love we will go raiding after this and what that means is i will set up a redirect right now i won't let the credits roll through tonight and we'll go straight into oh i haven't got the hobby collabs video let me go find that video. i remember making those hair excuses they are not all accounted for. The lost seeing stones. Nothing wrong with my hair. Oh, the hobby collab might actually be live to members only. It doesn't show them as live for me. I think if you lied to me. No, it doesn't show them as live for me. You've lied. You've lied to me. They're not live. Well, Titans are live, but it's members only. Which losers do members only lose? I tell you. So it's just, it's just Valrak. We don't want to raid him, do we? Also, your miss is only wanting you to watch Pride and Prejudice is reasonable. Mine makes me watch Geordie Shaw, and I'm American. You want me to watch Pride and Prejudice? We can watch Pride and Prejudice. What's it about? I'm not telling you. You have to watch it. Oh, I'm not interested then. Thank you, Boats already for Boats is ready for five bucks as well. You're here. Thank you, Stick Monkey, for the five. You're amazing. Um, my hair's fine, all right? It's fine. It's fine. He sort of disappeared from Titans. Everyone's who's that? Is that where Titans Joe John escapes to? Titans John is now on. I think so. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, no company is too big to fail. Just to ask Enron. Who's Enron? <laughs> Geordie Shaw is always rock bottom. <laughs> There's been a grand total of five new eBay postings of related Stormcast models. Overall, not that bad as far as reactions go. I think I feel like we always sit here like thinking it's worse. 
You know when uh, GW fucks up bad enough, even Varax pissed at it. I fit right. Okay. Here's a thing, chat. Right. Here's a thing. I've seen some content titles and some stream titles and stuff like that over the course of the last um, few hours since this announcement. Sometimes I think I, I'm just throwing this out there. Maybe I'm wrong, but sometimes I think that certain YouTubers or YouTube channels in general will make super angry titles and be outraged because outrage typically sells more. So, I'm just saying, sometimes, could we put a positive, like, could we take the, the topic? Could we, um, could we put a positive spin on it and be like, look, it's it's dog shit. This is dog shit. But let's let's look at the positives because there are some positives, right? Let's be very clear about today's announcement. There are some positives. They've let you know probably two to three months before the edition launches, so you don't buy stuff up in excitement for a new edition only to find that it's no longer relevant. That's a positive. Uh, certain units, especially Stormcast range, which is going to be the biggest problem out of all of the stuff that they're getting rid of, are getting competition support until the summer 2025. That's a positive. These are all things that didn't happen in 40k when 10th edition came, right? All things that didn't happen. After that, legend support for everything. And additionally, the Stormcast range looks like it's going to be thinned a little bit. All positives. I'm not saying it's good news. I'm not saying it's net good news. I'm saying we could look at positives. And I like to try and look at the positives. And we've done that tonight. And it's been interesting. It's been it's actually been quite refreshing for a lot of people as well to say, hey, I play Stormcast. I understand why they did what they've done. I, I get it. Right? I get it. It's been quite refreshing. We like to spread positivity, right? On the whole, we like to spread positivity. The Dax, I now have a Custodes army. If that's what you're using your Stormcast for, that's fucking cool. I like it. I'm a fan of it, right? I like positivity. We could focus on the Doom. Negative sales. Like, bad news is spreads and negative sales. Bad news, if I'd have gone super ragey on the title and super ragey in the video, we would have had 450 people watching tonight rather than 350. It's a fact. It's an unfortunate fact, but it is a fact. It just is. But I don't like to do that. I actually think fair play that they've given us enough notice. Fair play they're giving tournament rules for certain units until 2025. Everything will still have Legends units. That's, you know, there there are slightly slight positives we could take from it. It's not quite as doom and gloom as I think some people are making out. And I have seen people that have already said they've just killed 4th edition. Fuck off. Not a chance. The positive is that it lets us know in advance instead of just blasting a legend PDF after edition launch. Exactly, Sean. Exactly. They could have at least done this update with some uh, contrition and not that cheeky BS they pulled in the article making it a joke. Yeah, I mean, agree. I, I do agree with that. Like I said, some of the social media responses are without taste, which is a shame. Right? It is a shame. It's because you've got all the negativity right here in me. I have I may have noticed, Leon, that you aren't Games Workshop's biggest fan. I have I have taken that into account, sir. <laughs> 40k some Stormcast could be awesome. 100 percent it could. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um there's the guys with the big wings that they've that they're nerfing that I always thought would make a cool sanguinary guard, for example. Right? It's Games Workshop's fault they were the ones that overstuffed the faction. Absolutely it was. Absolutely. But but you're but I, I agree with you, Spider Lord. 100 percent agree with you. But what you're saying is the faction is overstuffed, so they also have to trim it. Being negative isn't good, but being over positive isn't better. It makes you blind to the deep issues. Oh, I'm not. Don't worry, Zorak. 100% not blind. We've criticised tonight heavily in places, but I'm just trying to focus on the positives out of this whole sea. So the overarching feeling is everyone comes away and goes, yeah, I don't feel like it is that bad. It's bad, but it's not that bad. We're okay. Let's keep getting excited about a fourth edition. It's okay. I'm not blind to negatives. Like I said, the social uh, the social media responses, some of them are tone deaf. Some of the article is a bit tone deaf. Doing it sucks for people. It's not great. Isn't Dante just a really fancy stormcast? <laughs> Travis, what's up? What's up, dude? How's it going? Right. Anyway, it is nine o'clock. You have had an hour and a half talk show at me. You wonderful, beautiful people. Tomorrow night, we are back at 8.30. 
So an hour later on Fridays, always an hour later on Fridays, 8.30 tomorrow, we're back with 40k after dark. And we will drink some mead and chat some things stupid and bollocks. Luce will talk a lot more tomorrow, won't you? If I'm allowed. Yeah, we won't be whinging about what they've done today. What should we do as a topic tomorrow for silly? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Tomorrow, chat. I want every single one of you to bring your own loose fact to the stream. Oh, no, don't do that. Why not? Don't do that. There's only like three good ones. That'll be a very short stream. <laughs> All right, we won't do that then. Okay, we'll figure something else. Anywho, you've been amazing tonight. Thank you so much for 123 gifted memberships as well. You people have been absolutely fucking incredible. We were only 27 away from 150, but you've been amazing. Thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you for all the super chats, especially for some of the new people that have been super chatting. You're amazing. I love you. You're incredible. 271 likes is also amazing. So thank you. The Dak says, I am calmer now than I was earlier. Thank you. That's great. I genuinely am glad. Like, we, the, um, uh, Zarak's right. We shouldn't be blind to when people do, when companies do horribly negative things. We shouldn't be blind to those things. But you know what? This is a hobby which we're here to enjoy. And we're here as a community to enjoy it and have fun. If I've helped you a little bit, I'm glad. I'm genuinely glad. Right? Honestly. If you've been thinking about selling your army or getting rid of it because of today's announcement, I implore you, please just keep hold of it and let 10th, uh, 4th edition launch and see how you feel. Please. Please. Okay? Right, good. Anything you want to say before we go? You got a fact? Have you been Googling a fact? I was going to say, what the fuck is going on, babe? <laughs> You're it's slowly a... icing me out. It's what a... the fucking fuck? It's... Yesterday, <laughs> I didn't get my fact and my law. Yes, they didn't, they didn't deserve it. It's not about... Th uh, they don't need to buy my love. Also, my how, love often, is how often do you do loose facts on a Thursday night? I didn't get to do it last night. How often do you do them on a Thursday night? <sighs> exactly. Right. Apparently, she's very desperate to give you a fact all right are you ready with it yeah are you gaz gives me my countdown the longest attack of hiccups lasted 68 years surely you'd you'd hang yourself before that why did you why did you 68 days and I'd be like, oh, i'm done <laughs> why did you let it go on for 68 years how can you hiccup years? for 68 years and then i had i had a law fact and random number generator picked out the letter p of the alphabet so countries beginning with p and pakistan popped up and i was like oh, okay cool i'll have a look at pakistan it, it got very serious not, <laughs> not fun really i was waiting to put the voice changer at on all. so i've gone with peru okay good <laughs> if it's about a fucking bear i'm not interested not a bear <laughs> it's not a bear he doesn't like marmalade sandwiches <laughs> P A double D I N G T O N Paddington Bear. I think I had a day's rehearsal to get that, so me and Ben could sing it off the bat. Peru. Uh huh. In, In Peru, Peru, sexual relations with a llama or alpaca is illegal, which means unmarried young men are even prohibited from having a female llama or alpaca live in their homes. Exercise precaution, obviously. <laughs> this was the most fun one. Get that animal <laughs> out of my house. Okay, I'll pack up my bags. Hey! Ah. <laughs> no? 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 No. Oh, I thought it was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> we got our son to sing Ploppington Bear. <laughs> live in their homes. Apparently, these are these are these are facts and law that she goes and finds on the wonderful world that is Google. Those sexy, <laughs> sexy llamas. Yeah, exactly. She didn't like my joke, chat. She didn't like my joke. She wasn't a fan of my joke. The alpacalypse is here. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. But it's legal for all other animals, of course, I suppose. Of course. <laughs> of course. Are llamas allowed to live in the house for anyone? Yeah, of course they are. Anyway, right, anyway, it's illegal because some of us have tried it. Right. An alpaca won't get an OnlyFans behind your back at least. <laughs> Top tier dad joke. Thank you, Daniel. Someone appreciated it. Someone appreciated it. Right, anyway. 
you people have been amazing. I'm tired. I need to go. Luce is tired and she's got to cut my hair yet. So this could be much worse tomorrow. Hopefully it'll be fine. Uh, so we're going to do that. And I'm going to go and get my head down and try and sleep for a night. Finally. Right. Thank you so much for hanging out tonight. Thank you so much for all the gifters. Like I said, thank you so much for the super chats. Thank you so much for the likes. You people have been absolutely insane. Tomorrow, 8.30, 40k after dark. Okay. Come and hang out. It is not 40k related. It's not AOS related. We just hang out and chat bollocks. It's like a generic YouTube talk show. We're all together because we love the hobby and that's what brought us together. But we hang out on Fridays just because we enjoy each other's company, right? We just enjoy each other's company. We're going to have fun. And we're going to be silly. I'm going to drink mead. And by the end of the stream, I'll probably be slightly slurring my words. And Luce might even have a drink. Maybe. 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 Right, cool. Anyway, anything else you want to say before we go? You're no. happy now you've done your fact and your law? They were good tonight. Actually, they were good tonight. Yeah, you backpedal, bitch. When you come off air. The Peru one was very good. What was the fact? Oh, 68 years hiccups. I still don't. I don't know how. No, that, was, that was the fact. The Peru law was the yeah. alpaca. Yeah, the 68 and years llama. was the fact. The 68 year hiccups. Yeah. 68 minutes would probably piss me off. Someone on here yeah. said 68 hours, I'm done. No. Right. Anyway. Yeah. Well, what concerned me was I specifically Googled funny laws in Pakistan. And what came back to me was not was not fun or funny or casual or I still remember when you didn't know think, I still remember when you didn't know the country being with W. Brilliant. Anyway <laughs> thank you yeah, you wonderful Sean. people. You're amazing. We love you lots and we'll see you in the next one.